joining us here to begin your Saturday evening. I'm Casey Decker. We finally, finally got a break from the snow today, but it's looking like it might be short lived. Of course, Michelle Boss is in the Weather Center with the details for the next few days. Michelle. Yeah, we're going to be doing okay in the short term here in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Didn't see any snow today, and it looks like we're going to be starting off the day on Sunday snow free as well as we take a look at satellite and radar picture right now. Mostly cloudy skies across eastern Washington. A little bit more sunshine in the Moses Lake and Omak area, but we saw a couple of sun breaks here in Spokane. Uh, as far as snow over the next couple of days, though, pretty uncertain forecast. What we do know is that some light snow is going to be moving in to the slopes in the North Cascades for tonight through Sunday. Sunday at noon, winter weather advisories for places like Wenatchee, also Leavenworth, Twisp, uh, and uh, Winthrop area. That's across uh, north central Washington. But heavier snow possible from Snoqualmie Pass all the way through south central and southeastern Washington. The potential for several days of some very snowy weather starting tomorrow through the day on Wednesday. Temperatures again colder than normal. Mid 20s right now in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene and no warm up expected anytime soon. We'll be in the 20s this evening with cloudy skies. Mostly cloudy overnight, some patchy fog down to 14 and highs once again in the upper 20s tomorrow with a chance of a little bit of afternoon snow. All right, thanks, Michelle. Moving to our first story tonight. It's been about a month since Andrew Vathis, an icon of the South Hill, died. He was hit by a car while walking home from his job at the Albertsons on 57th. And today we're still learning even more about the life and many people he touched. For instance, one of Andrew's passions, collecting stuffed animals. So today, the Spokane Fire Department partnered with Starbucks to collect toys to give to children that the firefighters meet on calls. Creme 2's Sheena Waltower has more now on how Andrew's memory is living on. Well, it's a bit of a busy day out here at the Starbucks on 57th and Regal, and not just because people are trying to stay warm out here in this cold. It's also for a great cause in memory of a person who touched so many lives in this community. Although Andrew Vathis' physical smile is no longer on Spokane South Hill, his loving heart is still reaching out. Andrew was in my store almost every day. Um, so we just want to continue the kindness that Andrew showed to everyone in the community here by taking these animals in and, and distributing them um, with the fire department. It was something that he always wanted to do is give stuffed animals to the fire department so kids that were in some sort of a tragic situation had a toy to comfort them. And this is something that we just wanted to keep going. Wow. They, they stop by, they just drop off a new uh, animal, of some sort of a toy, and uh, from there we take them and we'll just distribute them to area fire stations. We've had people bringing them in by the box full, by the bag full. Little kids come in with bags that are bigger than them. It's been really <laughs> sweet to see. It's special to us because when my daughter was younger, um, they, the police had come to our house and they brought her stuffy and so we, they had said that it was donated. So it's important to give back so that everybody can get something special when um, first responders come to their home. There are quite a few. <laughs> quite a few, yeah. Since 10 o'clock this morning, I'd say at least over 100. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew was some, one of those people that was a great example to everybody. He was kind and always thinking of other people. And uh, uh, we just thought that this was just something that would uh, uh, we would like to keep alive, that spirit. In Spokane, Shana Waltower, Crime 2 News. Moving to national news now, singer R. Kelly made his first appearance in court today since being accused of sexually abusing four people. Prosecutors painting a dark picture of the crimes he's charged with. The judge calling the allegations against Kelly disturbing. But that judge did grant Kelly bond, setting it at $1 million. The, the prosecution released four documents, one for each accusation, outlining the basis for the charges. Kelly's attorney denied Kelly ever forced anyone to have sex. If these allegations are proven to not be true, and these were consensual encounters, the, the, certainly the encounters on some of their charges, then, you know, we shouldn't be second-guessing someone's sex life. He's a, he's a rock star. He doesn't have to have non-consensual sex. He's, he's a music star. Mr. Greenberg's client is in a fight for his life. Mr. Greenberg needs to pull his head out of his ass and start defending his client as opposed to making personal attacks on me and the victims in this case. Now, each count of the new charges carries up to seven years in prison and could be served consecutively, meaning it's possible R. Kelly could be facing up to 70 years. In